What's going on guys? John Elder here from Kodobi.com and in this video, I want to show you two ways to change the background color for your app with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at two different ways to change the background color of your app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty basic video, but uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about background color, so I thought, hey, we'll talk about background color really quickly. And there's two sort of simple ways to change your background color. You can see I've got it changed here. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So I've got a new file called bg.py and bg.kv, our kv uh, language file. And this is the same exact code we've been working on in the last few videos. I just changed this to reference bg.kv, which is our kv language file. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So like I said, there's two main ways to do this. So the first way is basically what we talked about in the last video, changing label colors. So we can go canvas.before, just like last time. And we can set color to, this is going to be an RGBA value. And we can just set it to anything we want. So we can go 1111. I think that's white. And then we want to set our rectangle. And we want that position of the rectangle to be self dot position, POS. And the size we want to be self dot size. All right. So basically the same thing we did in the last video. If we save this and run it. Python bg.py, we get a white background and pretty simple. And just like in anything else, we could fiddle around with these colors here. These are our R, G, B, and A values. A is alpha, basically transparency. This is red, green, blue. So, you know, if you want sort of the standard windowy gray background, sort of like if you're doing a Kinter app and it's, you know, the default color, you're going to be looking at something like, I don't know, say 240 by 255. Try that 240 divided by 255 and 240 divided by 255. That's a sort of gray windows text or windows background -y looking thing. Save this and run it. And again, you get this sort of uh, more muted grayish background, but whatever you want, any color you want, you can do it that way. So that's one way to do it. Another way and an even easier way is back in our actual Python file. So up here at the top, we can import something. We can go from kivi.core.window, we want to import window, and that's a capital W. And then down here in our build function, where we return, you know, whatever, we're still calling our app awesome app, we can just call, we can just call window.clearcolor, and then set that equal to whatever RGB value we want. So again, we could go 1111, and then that's all there is to it. So Let's go ahead and save this. Now I'm going to take this out just so that we can see this work. So save this, save this, go ahead and run this guy. And we get a white background So we could, you know, fiddle with this a little bit. We could say if we want a red back background, so 1001, save this and run it. Now we get a very nice red background, right? So, and again, the same color things apply that we've talked about color wise in the last few videos, meaning you can use any RGB value you want, just take the RGB value, the red, the green or the blue, divide it by 255. And then that'll be that color. Now, you can mix and match these two methods, we can keep this as say a red background, we can come back over here, and I'll paste back in the stuff we did earlier with this canvas. Now this will override this, right? So you can still individually if you have to throw up a different window or something or whatever, you want to change the background on the fly, clicking a button or whatever you want to do, you can still save, you can still change it right here. So if we save this and run it, we're not going to have a red background, it's going to be that sort of uh, grayish color. Or if we want to be very dramatic, we could change all of these to let's say, zero, zero, one, one, make it blue <laughs> versus red, I guess that's fun. I don't know, I'm just playing at this point. And now we get a blue background, right? And these buttons, of course, are from the previous video we worked on. They're just, you know, basic buttons that we've designated down here in our little box layout from the last video. So really, really simple to change the background color of your 
Kivi app, a couple of different ways you can choose from, whatever is more appropriate for you and your app at the time. Uh, you know, maybe not worth a whole video, but it's a basic thing that people need to understand. And this is a basic course in Kivi at this point. We haven't gotten into more advanced stuff. So I figured, hey, we'll make a video about it and that should be fun. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So I pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.